Recently, a new ZTQ-15 light tank was adopted by the Chinese Army. It entered service in 2017. This tank is also commonly referred as the Type 15. First pictures of the new tank appeared back in 2010. The whole development project was kept in secrecy and for a long time were no official comments regarding this new tank. Since 2010 a number of different prototypes were observed. The new tank has an entirely new design. It could also become a successor to the Type 62 light tank that was retired from the Chinese army in 2011 without proper replacement. Chinese requirement could be for at least 300 new light tanks. The first military unit that received the ZTQ-15 at the 123rd Combined Arms Brigade, 75th Group Army, Southern Theater Command. It is one of the PLA's elite units and considered to be one of Army's major amphibious units. It is not unreasonable to assume that the 123rd Brigade is a part of plan for seizing control of Taiwan. Some sources report that by 2021 a total of 250 ZTQ-15 light tanks were built. These are in service with the Chinese Army and Marines. An export version of this new light tank, the VT-5, was first publicly revealed in 2016. It is being offered for various customers. The new tank weights around 33 to 36 T, depending on its armor configuration. Mobility and rapid redeployment is the key factor of this new tank. It is intended mainly for reconnaissance and infantry support operations. It can be airdropped and operate in areas, such as mountains, jungles and river regions, that are not accessible to heavier China's main battle tanks, such as the Type 96 and Type 99. This tank has a welded hull and turret. It is fitted with a modular add-on armor kit. It can use either passive composite armor or explosive reactive armor. Various armor configurations were observed. Some areas of the hull and turret can be covered with cage armor which provides protection against anti-tank rockets and anti-tank guided missiles. This tank has also got a passive protection system with a laser detector. This system triggers smoke grenade dischargers once the tank is illuminated by a laser beam. This system reduces the chance of being hit by laser-guided anti-tank missiles. This new Chinese tank is armed with a fully stabilized 105mm rifled gun. It is compatible with all standard NATO 105mm tank ammunition. The gun has an automatic bustle-mounted ammunition loading system, which allowed to reduce the crew to three. In turn a smaller crew allowed to reduce overall dimension of the tank, making it a smaller target on the battlefield. The ZTQ-15 has an effective firing range of 3 kilometers. Its APFSDS round penetrates up to 500 millimeters of rolled homogeneous armor. Such penetration capabilities are not sufficient to defeat modern main battle tanks over the front arc. However this tank can also launch 105mm anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as ordinary munitions. These extend the effective range to up to 5 km and have a hit probability of over 90% against stationary targets. Furthermore these missiles have tandem high explosive anti-tank, heat, warheads and pose serious threat to main battle tanks, and can even target low-flying helicopters. Also the gun can launch ordinary high explosive, heat, and heat rounds for use against light armored vehicles, buildings, field fortifications and infantry. A total of 38 rounds and missiles are carried for the main gun. Spent cases are automatically ejected via a hatch at the rear of the turret. Secondary armament consists of a remotely controlled weapon station, armed with a 12.7mm machine gun and 40mm automatic grenade launcher. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The new Chinese light tank has got a modern fire control system. It includes laser rangefinder, ballistic computer, wind sensor, gunner's thermal sight and commander's panoramic sight with thermal vision. Thermal vision allows to engage targets at night and during adverse weather conditions. This light tank has got a hunter-killer engagement capability, which is present on all modern main battle tanks. Commander uses his panoramic sight to search for targets. Once the target is selected the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes AL the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target. 
The ZTQ-15 tank is fitted with a navigation, satellite communication, and battlefield management systems. The tank is operated by a crew of three, including commander, gunner, and driver. Crew seating is standard for modern tanks. The driver is seated at the center of the hull, though on at least one prototype driver's position was offset to the left. Commander and gunner are seated in the turret. This new Chinese tank is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1,000 horsepower. The engine is mounted at the rear of the hull. It is mated to a fully automatic transmission. It has got a hydropneumatic suspension with adjustable ground clearance. The tank comes with steel tracks that can be optionally fitted with rubber pads. Due to its lightweight the new tank is much more mobile than heavier main battle tanks. It can operate at high altitudes, where air becomes thin and engines start to lose power. For example Indian T-72 and T-90 main battle tanks cannot go high into the mountains. So in the mountains the new Chinese tank should not encounter any heavily armored opponents. Maximum range on fuel is 450 kilometers, though it can be extended by mounting external fuel tanks. This new tank is air transportable. It can be airlifted by military cargo aircraft. Also this tank can be paradropped. Other airborne tanks are the USM-8 Buford, which did not enter service and the Russian Sprut SD which is in service in small numbers. Development of this new light tank shows the high level of resources China is devoting towards its rapid deployment and offensive capabilities. The tank is not amphibious. It is worth noting that China's Marines operate a ZBD-2000 amphibious light tank that was specially designed for high-speed swimming and is also armed with a 105mm gun. Though both of these tanks are completely different. There were no intentions to simplify servicing and maintenance by using interchangeable components. It is likely that a number of variants, such as armored recovery vehicle, will emerge over time.